I have to help my husband out sometimes. I kind of helped him with my early Christmas gift, late Mother's Day, and a late anniversary present. I got myself a gift, and I need to go ahead and dig in. Wait, I thought it was already a box here. What's this box? We'll have to get to that one later. Sorry, wrong one. Somebody's mama packed this. Another box. Am I being pumped? <laughs> I feel like I'm being pumped. This is what I get for being sneaky. Mm -hmm. Now I know my husband's been giving me a hard time about getting this. And for me, I'm, I'm the primary person that is going to be harvesting, figuring out what to do with stuff. I feel a lot of creative pressure and I just really, after doing some homework, the Levo was going to offer me, especially now that I have the Excalibur, to dry a bunch of herbs and different things in bulk. And I can turn around and use this to infuse not just oils, I can infuse butter, stuff for the culinary stuff that I do, um, even for soaps, which is something that we want to do. Recently, I saw at the grocery store that they are now like really pushing calendula soaps and that's something I was making just in lotion. Calendula oil is something I was doing in a jar in the sun on a windowsill for six weeks and I can have that done in less than two hours with this in most cases. So to me, money is time. Time is money and it's valuable, especially when it's just me. Okay, so it says choose cycle. Now, question. The garlic, you said you want to do garlic. Yeah. One thing needs to be dried and the other thing's already dried. One of the things that is in the surprise box, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab it out because it's going to go great with this. I got accessories. I'm not sorry, um, but I got this, which if we're gonna do a garlic <laughs> oil and the way that we use garlic oil all the time for a lot of things, we can put it in a spray and just like spray it on stuff. Mm. So. And the other thing mm. that's gonna come in handy for what we're about to do is this is the press. I saw this being an issue for a lot of people. Um, what was the issue? I was watching them measure out how much came out because it's always going to come out less from everything that I saw, mm -hmm. but you will get more out of it if you use the press. I noticed that people were getting more out of it, more concentrated oil, if you use a press. So I was like, that's a no brainer for me. Does this thing say any type of oils that you cannot use? Well, um... You can use all oils. And so that's one of the things I'm excited about, especially with my adventures into the calendula. I got jojoba oil, which is good for your face. And so with the calendula oil and that, that's why I was like really excited about those. But you can use any. Now, I recently saw a gentleman do a tincture using alcohol and they do not recommend tinctures. Uh -huh. But um, uh, there, there is a uh, type of tincture you can make not using alcohol with the, was it glycerin? Glycerin. And yeah. I have that. Um, so I can do tinctures using that with this. And okay. that's fine. Not everybody, like a lot of people don't like the alcohol version. Okay. Let's put this bad boy to use. First, we have to dehydrate this, right? Yes. So we're going to... Open this. Do you up. want to chop those up? Will it make it go faster? Uh, we could. We chop it up. That's a cute little bottle. Anything to keep on trying to sell me, huh? Yeah. Mm. Y'all don't know this, but I have been like <laughs> telling him like almost every day five different reasons that this will come in handy. So. So hopefully this will give us one tablespoon. I think this will give us one tablespoon. I don't want it to be, the garlic to be too pungent. So this is gonna be a test 
just to see. I think that should be good enough. So we're gonna just put this inside here. Put this on. Put this right here. All right. I don't think we need to stir in there yet. Uh, we can, I don't see the harm in leaving it in there though. So push that down. And then we're gonna put it on there for dry. We'll keep it the, we'll keep everything standard. Yeah, I everybody recommend it going with the manufacturer settings. Yeah, so we'll put the dry time for three hours at 115 degrees. Uh, we'll put time and then we'll push start. Warm it up. In three hours, we'll come back and allow that to dry. And then after that, we'll add some of our uh, red pepper flakes. Is this one from our garden? That one is not. I have some uh, other ones that are. The entire reason I'm excited about the uh, dehydrator that I got to do stuff is that this is three hours that I would have already had a bunch of dried products waiting for us to just get to the infusion part. She's really milking it. She's really milking it. <laughs> but it'll be it, like, it's logic. Okay. While we're waiting, I'll just go ahead and show you the accessories the that accessory. I got. Because I've, the uh, additional accessories? Because I think you, you're gonna ask me and be like, oh, what's this? <laughs> That's how I was gonna say? That's how you sound okay. when you say that. I got the infusion storage, the herb storage, uh, the block tray. So these are like trays that we can have ready. Now, I will say that for me, the Levo is actually for our herbs um, and infusing our herbs and doing stuff like that. The Levo 2 is very popular for people that do CBD and THC infusions. For me, that's, that's not the case. Um, although CBD would be nice. I probably would be interested in CBD lotions. So that might be on my back burner. Um, then I got, so this, I wanted to say that other stuff because I got these molds to do gummies because we're gonna have the elderberries and I wanna do elderberry gummies. And then these were flavor gummy mixes. Um, so I'm just gonna have some fun. I wanted to experiment. <laughs> Um, and then it doesn't have to just be like the elderberry. There's certain herbs that we grow that are bitter to the taste. So I wanted to kind of play with actually doing supplements for our own health with the herbs that we normally wouldn't enjoy eating and actually making it into something that we enjoy as a supplement. So Now, if y'all are interested in seeing Mrs. Naked Gardener do one of these gummies, comment down below with hashtag gummy. And you're gonna test it? Oh, depending. You're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're, you're my test dummy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just so you know. Mm. And then, um, this is an oil. It's a premium flavorless so that it won't affect the flavor of the gummies. It's really That's what gummies. I was interested in because I was like, do okay so this one is a flavorless liquid coconut oil that's why i was asking about different oils and stuff because i didn't want to be using the oil that might be overpowered because extra virgin olive oil is very strong there's yeah there's definitely okay that was the thing now it's about to now it's about to start drying it warmed up now it's about to start drying i was like what's going on here? i know that sound but so, yeah, and there's a few different um, oils for that, but right now this was the most recommended, so I want it to at least have a baseline so we can have an opinion moving forward. Okay. This was important because that can hold three filters, so you can have more than one herb type of thing going on. So, um, like right now with the garlic, garlic has to be dry, but if, if our herbs were already all dry mm -hmm. and we we're infusing different things, we can have them in different packs. Yeah, and the, from what I was uh, viewing online, the reason why you want your herbs or whatever you put in there to dry first, because you want all that moisture out of your 
whatever you infuse the oil with because it makes it, I think like rancid or something like that. It, it messes up the flavor of it, so. I find it interesting that you actually did some homework on this. Uh, apparently more than somebody else. This is my elementary way of saying her. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, were you trying to show me up? No. You you just wanted to know what kind of tool we were. I wanted to have? know what how this stuff works. To make sure I wasn't just blowing smoke. Yeah. Okay. So this one. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to show you this one. Uh, this show. Me. Uh, it's gummy glitter to make them cute. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's an infusion shimmer to make them no. look cute. They, this was just for me. Okay. Good. Okay. This was extra extra. I bet. <laughs> So here we are the next day. The entire process really took, what, five hours? Mm -hmm. But we started in the evening, had long work days, so we're just now catching up. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. Oh, I gotta hold it down. Okay, that's good mm -hmm. to know. I like that it'll do this as I hold it down so I can control any overflow. I do like that. Let's get the rest of this and see how much more we can get out of here. I'm gonna let it go until it stops, but then I wanna see how much more I can... Model. Yeah, to demonstrate why somebody might want to have this. I can see why this is a popular tool. Taste. And this is the bread you made, right? Mm -hmm. The garlic is strong, the bread pepper flakes. Not that strong. I taste the garlic, mm -hmm. and I really like it on the sourdough bread. And I can imagine, because I make that pizza dough. This would taste good because I like to brush the bread. Um, the pepper flakes, those were just older ones. Now, I wish I would have used the dried ones from the garden, the cayenne peppers. Yeah. I think that would have given it the kick. I almost think I would put in um, one of the dried peppers in here just to decorate it too. I think that would be pretty in the bottle. I could try it. Yeah. Try it in that one too. Mm-hmm. Maybe it'll um, give it a little more kick. So if you want to see more videos of us uh, using this machine to infuse oils, butters, tinctures, making gummies, make sure you give us a thumbs up so that way YouTube could push this video out. What do I